My mom always said I could be a hand model. Look at these babies. exhaust wrap we're using. You can see it in here. It's fiberglass, titanium, and color. $16 shipped on Amazon. Check the uh, description of the video. I got a link there. All right, guys, here we go. This is, uh, this is what we've done so far. So the idea is to wrap this pipe from here to here and from this pipe from here to here and stop both. And then when you wrap this one, you can wrap here, across both of them, all the way to the opposite end. So that's what we're going to do on the other side. Here we go. Okay, so according to the manufacturer, it's a little bit better with the fiberglass tape to uh, wet it a little bit prior to doing it. It makes it a little more pliable. The other thing that you want to look out for is there's a looped end on one side and there's a closed end on the other. The closed end you'll get a lot more life out of this if, if that's the exposed edge when you're all done. So we'll make sure that we get ready to do that. So we're working with fiberglass. So anytime you're working with fiberglass, it's probably a good idea to have gloves on. So I put some rubber gloves on, so kind of my hands look a little weird. But uh, first thing I did is I wrapped it kind of loose. You want to start with almost a complete wrap, just maybe a little bit of a reveal, maybe a quarter of inch reveal at the end. And you slowly start to wrap it around and kind of tighten it up a little bit until you get to the point where the two, two pipes are, are joined together and you can't actually get uh, two layers in there. To the point that you like it, lock it in with a couple of zip ties. Zip ties are your best friends. Once you're clamped in with your zip ties, use one of my favorite tools it's called Clamp Tight. I'll show you how that works in a few minutes. All right, guys. So I bought this cool tool on Amazon called Clamp Tight. They give you uh, stainless steel straps on uh, in the kit. But uh, there's not enough of them for the way that we're doing this little tiny. I mean, it's only a four cylinder, right? So we'd need one here, one, two to end it, three, four, five, six, 12 total. In the kit, they only give you 10. I do really like this clamp tight tool. It's gonna work fantastic. It's gonna look a little bit better, I think, than the uh, stainless steel straps that they give you. So it ought to be stronger. It should actually be stronger as well. So I start off with a piece of stainless steel wire. Uh, I'm using it out of uh, out of a safety wire kit that I have. It's 104. It's a 40,000 thick. Okay. Make a little U shape at the bottom. Wrap it around. Slide it through. You want to keep those nice and parallel all the way around because that's what it's going to look like the finished product at the end, right? So you don't want them crisscrossing one another. It kind of like won't look too good. We're going to cover it up anyway, but you know it's there. Slide it around so you get it to the position where it's going to be clamped. Separate those two wires. And install the clamp tight. It goes on that flat section you made in the beginning. You go over top of the first one. We'll wrap it around the second one. Make sure it's seated right over top of the first. Wrap it around the second. And then take the two and wrap them together. Once you get it seated, go ahead and tighten it down. You can fix your garden hoses with this. You can fix your radiator hoses with this. Roll it over. Cut it off. You no longer need that. They cut theirs a little bit closer. I like to cut them a little bit longer. And I take a pair of needle nose and fold it over. 
Now that is good for a long time. Clamp tight. All right, guys, one of the things that you want to take note of is we just wrapped a three inch section and it took 20 inches of this wrap material. So get an idea how much you gotta do because that 50 foot roll is gonna go awfully quick. It slides relatively easy on the pipe. You gotta find what works best for you. I like to get the first wrap relatively tight and then I can kind of work it around, sliding it around nice and loose until I decide that I'm gonna tighten it up. This is another 20 inch section, so I have, you know, we're gonna get about three inches of pipe. They get on there nice and loose like that. And then I kind of hold it tight at the bottom and kind of work it. Another reason why it's good to have those gloves on. Once I get it nice and tight down toward the flange, I'll go ahead and put a zip tie on it and then I can really pull on it. And then I'll come in after the fact with the clamp tight and make it forever. All right, so we've done this three and a half or four inch section, this three inch section. Now we gotta cut enough material to go ahead and go from this point to this point. All right, so I've changed the tune a little bit. So what I'm gonna do is, because we ended up a little bit short here, I'm gonna try to wrap from this point around the whole flange and then transition into this pipe and then around this whole pipe and then end it on this side. We'll see how that's gonna work out. All right guys, so courtesy of my cousin Gus, check out what we got here. Thanks for watching, Extreme Jelly Drivers. Like, subscribe, follow, out. <laughs>